saw that truck. Got him. Got him. Got him. Oh, wow. He came right up to get it. See that? Oh, my gosh. Looks like a rainbow. A little rainbow. Not a bad start. First hole. Here we go. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Here we go. Nice. So welcome back to northern New Mexico, guys. We are really close to Colorado. Matter of fact, right over those rocks there, as the crow flies to the state of Colorado. But we're in New Mexico today doing a little fishing for rainbow trout. And we're hoping that that next one's going to bite, too. There he goes. He just chased it. Get him. Got him. Got oh, him. my gosh. <laughs> just came out from underneath. I like it. Yeah. See the gold label in that fish's mouth still. <laughs> Two rainbows. Two rainbows. Look at that right on the tip of his mouth right there. there. Nice gold release. label. This one's a little bit fatter than his friend. This one's real chunky. He must have had like three sopopias after his meal or something like that. But let me tell you, beautiful place. We're in this awesome canyon up here. First time we've been in New Mexico, I would say in almost maybe two years. But we're excited to be back. This is Joe's home state. Yes, folks. I'm wearing my Lobos gear, but I can do that legitimately because Joe's dragged me to a whole bunch of, you know, UNM football games. Win or lose, I still wear my Lobos gear. We had a lot of fun. But I'll tell you what, I've had a lot more fun at New Mexico United games than I have. We're hoping that the Lobos pick up that kind of speed too. But right now, Joe's gonna try to catch another one. You're right here on gold label. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at those nice gold label flakes. Water's a little discolored, so we're going with a gold flake on it to actually get a little more reflection off so the fish can see it when it goes by. Uh, that fish was all the way <laughs> down there. This is just crazy. That's why sometimes you don't give up on the actual float, on the drift. Because this guy chased it all the way to the tail end. Yeah. Look at him. Nice looking trout. That's the one thing we love about northern New Mexico, you know. Albuquerque's packed. You know, it's a city, obviously, a massive city. There's crowds everywhere. You come up here, and we're the only ones here right now. Okay, it, it, this is a weekday. I'm sure weekends are a little bit different, but We've caught six fish without even shuffling our feet all in one hole. It just shows you that with the tremendous stocking program the state of New Mexico has, there's a lot of opportunity for you, especially up real far north here, you know, several hours outside of the city. The further you go, the better chance you have of having it all to yourself like we have right now. He ate it. <laughs> Did you see that? That fish right there came out of underneath this, smelled the egg, and came right to Joe. Hey, Isn't that amazing? You made a silly move, but you're going to live to tell everybody about it. Get on down there and grow. All right, let me cover the setup I've got today. We're fishing a small stream. I'm going to use ultralight tackle, really small rod, small reel, four pound fluorocarbon main line. I'm not using anything as far as barrel swivels or anything else. These fish are in clear water a lot of times, or they're really finicky. They can be that way. So I'm using as small as I possibly can and catching them on ultralight tackle is so fun too in these little small stalkers. So what I've done is on the setup, like I mentioned, I get a four pound main line, four pound fluorocarbon, and I've got a peg float set up our fire float. So we use this thing specifically because the colors on it, dark on bottom, uh, bright on top so we can actually see the bite the fish won't really see the float coming by so after that I've got a small split shot at about 18 inches down below the float and after that I've got a size 14 fire hook you can see that right there a little bit better and that's tied to the main line I've got nothing in between the main line and the hook other than a fire float and a small split shot and we'll give it a shot right now see how it goes Got him. Fish Look on. at that. Just barely hit the water. Change the angle a little bit so I get the hook set a little better. Another one chasing. There's his buddy. Nice, beautiful little stalker. On the corner of the mouth, going to be easy release. Let me show you the baits I'm using in this section of water. So I'm using our Gold Label Premium Eggs that we've actually had around forever and Gold Flake on these things so the fish can see the actual flake coming by just brightens it up for us. The other thing I'm using is our new Fireballs, Gold Garlic Fireballs. Let me show you what these look like. I mean, really translucent, looks like a natural egg floating down the river. So I've been using these, catching a ton of fish. Uh, right now I'm gonna actually set it up with a Gold Label. We'll just get this drift going. You can see what those look like. They've been around forever and it's a smaller egg than some of the other ones we have but it is a premium egg with gold flake. Look at the flake all over the place on my hand there. So I'm gonna put just two on the size 14. So, really small hook, small presentation, 
small fish, small stream, light tackle, and just having a blast with it. Got him, got him. That was a different fish. I didn't even see that one. Me neither. He was way up there. Hole. Nice one. Another. That's a little chunky rainbow there, too. Look at that fire hook, folks. Right there. Right in his mouth. All right, here we are, Rio Castilla. Just an amazing place that is just beautiful. I mean, everybody from Northern New Mexico knows about this place. Albuquerque, maybe not so much, but all the restoration efforts that have been done in this area for the Rio Grande Cutthroat. We're fishing right now the lower section, which is primarily rainbows, so you can use any bait in the section. But first pull off, once we enter the actual park area, off to the right side, found a big hole, and started tearing it up on trout, just using gold label and gold garlic fireballs it was just amazing but this place if you ever get a chance to come up here camping uh just for the day you will not regret it it is beautiful up here and you guys get to give it a shot today's episode of potsky outdoors comes to you from northern new mexico where we're on the rio castilla this is a small creek roughly four hours from albuquerque and we're about an hour south of the greater alamosa area this gets hit by southern colorado folks it gets hit by northern new mexico folks and it's a great place to come out here and catch rainbows it's heavily stocked by the state of new mexico they do a great job at keeping the river plump full of trout for you guys to enjoy now today joe got all of his fish hooked on fire hooks okay you guys have seen those in many of the accounts in northern new mexico and he caught all of them on two baits the ever well-known gold label salmon eggs and then the last couple he caught on gold garlic fireballs once they got conditioned now keep an eye on that float we're using today you guys are just starting to see these it's a fire float it's an indicator it shows us when we get that bite and we're able to set the hook right in the fish corner of the mouth we're able to release that or you get an even better hook set but if you get a chance come check this place out put it on your list of places to fish in northern new mexico Potsky products are available at sporting goods stores near you. If you can't find the specific color, size that you want, make sure to go to potsky.com. And as a thank you for watching Potsky Outdoors, we're going to show you a coupon code to be used for 10% off your next order.